Well, folks, as we all know, Disney has gone completely woke, which is one of the reasons that we here at Daily Wire created Bent Keys, that your kids can watch content that is not completely woke and you can feel safe doing that. But because Disney is completely woke, we're not the only ones who noticed it. The people at South Park did too. So South Park did an episode about Disney in which they deconstructed the fact that every Disney movie has now flipped over into just being a woke festival of stupid. It's a pretty great episode. Now tell me exactly what it is you're afraid of. I keep having the same dream. Everywhere I look, people are being replaced. Okay, and who do you think is going to have you replaced? Them, the puppet masters. The last time I had the dream, I was, I was walking down the school hallway. <laughs> and then I see Butters. And he's like, hey, Eric, you want to see what my mom packed me for lunch? And that's when I start to notice that something's wrong. Everyone I cared about has been systematically replaced. And finally, I want to scream, and I'm like, why are they replacing every single character with someone who is diverse? But then Kenny's like, it's not our fault, it's because of Kathleen Kennedy. But then Kathleen Kennedy's just like, f*** it, make it more lame. And everyone in town is like, no, please, Kathleen Kennedy, stop ruining everything. But Kathleen Kennedy is all like, put another gay diverse woman in it, make it more f***ing lame. And the Disney stock just keeps going down and down and down. And then Bob Iger is all like, no, no, what's going on with my stars? No, Kathleen Kennedy. Ah! That's the actual story of Disney. So that, that's why that's hysterical, because that's exactly what has happened. Kathleen Kennedy is terrible at everything. And she decided that, you know, it'd be a genius move is to take all of Disney's classic IP and replace all the classic characters with a woke version. And uh, Baba Iger just must be suicidal at this point. Is South Park the only show at this point that can do this kind of stuff? South Park is the only show that's willing to do this kind of stuff because Matt Stone and Trey Parker just don't care. They do not care. Sit down, boys. One of our students here says you've been treating them unfairly. Treating who unfairly? We didn't do anything. We're just minding our own business and she keeps saying she's Eric Cartman. Okay, and what's wrong with that? What's wrong is it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I see. There's a diverse female where Cartman used to be and you don't like that. It's not that we don't like it, it's... It, don't you think that's weird? I don't see a problem with it at all. And if you boys don't think Eric can be a black woman, then maybe the problem is you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> what? You think it's perfectly normal that Cartman is suddenly a black woman? You probably don't like that Indiana Jones got replaced by a female either, huh? Probably have a problem with Black Spider-Man, too. No, Miles Morales is sweet. That's a whole constructed thing with its own character and narrative, and this is just taking Cartman, same old Cartman, and putting a black woman in it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> PC Principal is legitimately the executives at Disney. Legitimately. Is it legitimate? It is. And then the audience revolts like, no, we don't like this. You know what we don't like? We don't like woke <laughs> Snow White. We're not, we're not into it. Like, it's because you hate Hispanic people, isn't it? It's like, no, that has nothing. What? No. We don't like Rose Tico because she's a shitty character. It's not because Rose Tico is Asian. Maybe if she were a good character, then we'd like her. But she's a shitty character, so I don't understand. They're like, no, it's because she's Asian. We know it's because she's Asian. You yeah, hated The Last Jedi because you hate Asian, Asian people. Like, no, it's because it's a shitty movie. And then they're like, you know, what, what, if, what if we just take classic beloved characters and we just gender and race switch them? You're like, well, that, that's, that's weird. I don't, I don't like that. Like, no, no you have to like it. it. You have to like it because if you don't like it, it's not because you liked the old character. It's because you hate the race of the new character. That's why the entire Hollywood machine is constructed around the idea that if the audience does not like the thing that you are doing, it's because it can't. I mean, it's the principal Skinner meme. Am I so out of touch? Was it always this way? When did it become like this? It might have been with Last Jedi. That, that was the first time I remember overtly a giant company basically saying, if my audience doesn't like this, it's not because the audience is right. It's because we are right and the audience is bad and wrong. And now we're being overwhelmed on Rotten Tomatoes and on Cinema Score by all of the bad people. They're crowdsourcing the badness. I think it actually was with Kathleen Kennedy. What do you say to people that are like, you know, kids don't pick up on this stuff. This is so stupid. Well, I mean, kids may not pick up on this stuff because they don't have any connection with the old IP. That, that's, that's certainly quite plausible. But um, I do, and I'm the one who has to buy it. <laughs> My kids don't have money or jobs. Examples from the Disney Pandaversa, you've got black female... <laughs> Black <laughs> female Colonel Sanders from KFC. Yeah, b b by the way, like, if that actually were reality, that'd be the most racist thing ever, <laughs> right? Like, I remember when they did it with Aunt Jemima, like, nope, too racist, can't do it. Uncle Ben. Right, Uncle Ben, they did the same thing with. Oh, look, all the cops have been replaced by uh, by women of color. 
the captain is a black female with a mustache. That's that's good stuff right there. Ah, oh, yeah. Obviously, we are facing serious economic turmoil. We have international economic turmoil. We have domestic economic turmoil. We are blowing out the debt here in the United States to unprecedented levels. More spending will inevitably devalue the dollar. It's time to protect your savings by diversifying into gold with the help of Birch Gold Group. When you open an IRA with Birch Gold, for every $10,000 you spend by December 22nd, Birch Gold will send you a free gold bar. Just text Ben to 989898 to claim eligibility before Black Friday. Birch Gold can even help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold without taking any money out of pocket. And you still get those free gold bars. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied customers, you can count on Birch Gold to help you transition an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold. Don't let your savings fall victim to the further devaluation of the dollar. Text Ben to 989898. Receive a free info kit on gold. Claim your eligibility before Black Friday to receive free gold bars on your qualifying purchase. That's Ben to 989898 to get started again. Text Ben to 989898 to get started with my friends over at Birch Gold. Something is wrong with the universe. Our stocks are down and every Disney movie this year has failed. We don't understand it, sir. We keep making the same movie over and over and pandering to everyone, but suddenly it's not working. Then we've got to pander harder. <laughs> Look, I don't want to have to say it, but I think the problem is Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy has made studios a lot of money. Yes, before, but you have to admit something's changed. For weeks now, she's been completely different. It's true. What if this is a different Kathleen Kennedy? What are you saying, Rick? I'm just saying, isn't it possible that we here at Disney pandered so much that we've opened a doorway to the Panderverse? <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's also it's also hilarious that in this scene, there's one black guy and it's all white people because it is the woke white libs who are doing all of this stuff. You think black people were clamor like absolutely clamoring for Rose Tico? They're like, oh, we need more Rose Tico in our lives. It's just a thing we desperately need. Like, no, by the way, no one cared that Black Panther is black. That's literally the story. Any diverse woman in it, make it safe. But Mrs. Kennedy, Bambi. ba Bambi's a baby deer. Baby dear, put a chicken in, make her gay. <laughs> <laughs> there She's you are, Miss Spago Kennedy, the linguine and clam sauce. Uh, excuse me, I believe I asked you to put a chicken in this and make her gay. <laughs> uh, yes, the chef was a little confused what you meant by that. It means put a chicken in the linguine and make her f***ing gay. <laughs> Where the f*** is Bob Iger? Uh, Mr. Iger just had to take some of the others to a screening. I think that things are being kept from me. And if you're going to keep things from me, then you'd better put a chicken in it. <laughs> make it gay. <laughs> oh, it's so true. It's their entire programming strategy. And they're like, why don't parents love us? Why? Why? <laughs> Man, it is really kind of sad when you think about it that, you know, the greatest entertainment company of all time has been hijacked by like three or four people. Or like, put a chick in it or make her gay. It's, it, is, it is kind of an amazing thing. So what I was going to say, it's kind of crazy that you get those big companies with thousands of employees and they just kind of go with it. Cause yeah, I mean, at some point you would imagine they have to be answerable to their shareholders, but apparently not. Apparently they can just keep churning out this crap day after day after day and assuming that if they keep doing it hard enough, then the audience will love it. I just don't, I, I don't understand this as a philosophy at all. I saw the Panderstone for the first time a few years ago. Bob Iger took us to the Disney archives and showed us an ancient piece of artificial intelligence that could be used to make the same movies over and over again <laughs> while appealing to absolutely everyone. The Panda Stone worked great for a while, but then came the hate mail. Ugly letters from racists who couldn't stand that some of the Panda Stone's rehashes had diverse women characters in the lead. I decided I would show them. I would start making movies to fight all the bigotry in our society. But instead of doing any real work, I turned to the Panda Stone. It made things so much easier. Soon I was using the Panda Stone over and over again to try and fight all the ugly feedback, which in turn was growing stronger and stronger. But I was fighting with the wrong tool. I used the Panda Stone to the point that it became unstable. It opened a portal to multiple universes and something came through. At first we fought, 
I tried to send it back to its universe, but it got the upper hand. It was able instead to send me to this universe, out of its way so it could thrive in ours. That's actually the best explanation I've heard as to why Disney movies all suck now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. It's great because it's a multifaceted critique. It's both the pandering right. and the fact that every single movie, movie is, is a multiverse. Same, yeah, no, that's right. It's the multiverse. It's it's a critique of Marvel. It's a critique of like every single thing that Disney has done. It's, it's pretty fantastic. So that's it. That's the connection. I reacted to you and you reacted to me. And I guess we created each other. Mrs. Kennedy, I don't think I've ever said this before in my life, but I'm sorry. I lashed out so hard and used the C word so many times you didn't really have a choice but to double down. <laughs> Eric, I know you care about all things Disney. I'm sorry I was so reckless with the things that you love. It was just lazy. I guess just wailing on woke stuff all the time is pretty lazy too. Well, I mean, or, <laughs> or Disney made a bunch of bad sh and you're allowed to criticize it because it was f***ing bad. The f*** you mean, nah. -uh. Maybe that. I'm more Cartman than Cartman in this episode. <laughs> so, folks, Disney has indeed become trash. Kathleen Kennedy is never going to issue such an apology. There will be no swivel away from this content for Disney. They're going to continue to double down and double down and double down as far as you let them, which is one of the reasons that we launched Ben Key. It is one of the reasons why we've gotten into entertainment to offer you an alternative so you don't have to keep giving your money to Kathleen Kennedy. Go subscribe today. It's chiller time.